Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at um, setting an icon for your application. Um, now there are a couple of free tools that I like to, um, to use to create images and I'm not going to go into the usage in any detail here but I'll just quickly mention them. One is um, Inkscape which is um, it's a free vector drawing application and uh, the idea is behind vector drawing is that you can create um, images like this very simple icon that I've created here uh, by building them up out of lines and shapes and then when you export them to an actual kind of bitmap image you can then specify the resolution of that image which is going to be important in a minute and another tool that I like to use is GIMP which is really a photo editing tool um, or you could use it as a paint tool and in spite of the unlikely name this is a very very good um, image tool which is uh, probably the closest thing you can get to a free version of Photoshop and at the moment it, um, it has this annoying um, for Windows users multiple kind of document type interface but I think they're going to change that hopefully in the future um, so those are two really good tools to use and now in your application the actual icons are stored um, under this res resource folder and you've got four different icon, four different folders here for images uh, corresponding to um, devices with different pixel den densities because of course Android can run on all kinds of devices and some of them will have quite small screens with not that many pixels and others will have lots of pixels so um, you've got here I think this is uh, this is high high density um, devices low density medium density and extra high density and the idea is that if you create an icon and in this in this case we're going to create a launcher icon which is the icon that you see when you um, click on the icon to launch your application on your phone or your device and then you should create it in different sizes basically to support different applications and if you really uh, sort of can't be bothered or you don't care about different size um, applications then uh, you could just um, create an icon for the medium um, pixel density for example and Android will use whatever um, graphics it can find that are kind of the nearest match for the device it's running on if I expand this folder here we've already got these um, IC launcher icons in here which is just kind of default icons at the moment um, uh, just these very plain icons and we're going to replace those with a slightly nicer icon now if, you, if you've got to create different size um, icons for your application there's uh, two really good basic approaches that you can use and both of them are perhaps less time consuming than you might imagine and the first thing to say is that um, to find the, the different sizes for icons that you should use if you go to um, Google and search for something like icon uh, let's say Android icon design and click on this icon design guidelines for Android developers and the developer.android.com and here you can see some of the different icons that you can use and if I click on launcher icon here um, and scroll down a bit we'll see here a table of the different sizes for launcher icons corresponding to the low, medium, high and extra high density devices and there's also um, from these pages um, a, sim a set of simple templates that you can use to design your icons around if you want but they're just basically images of the right size so um, uh, there are two um, approaches that you could use really and one is to create a image of um, that's much bigger than the images that you actually want to use and what I'm, what I'm talking about here we're talking about icons um, in particular but this also corresponds to other graphics that you want to use you could create much bigger graphics than you need and then just scale them down in something like GIMP for example um, to this, the size that you need for different um, for different um, screen densities, pixel densities that's one approach, have a big big bitmap and scale it down because the thing is if you have a small bitmap and you scale it up it'll look grainy um, and if you just use the biggest 
bitmap for all the different um, folders in your application here, then it's going to be in, in very inefficient and your device is going to have to scale it down in order to display it. Um, so um, there's that approach uh, with the big image and scale it to different sizes and you can also just create a vector image like in this free Inkscape application uh, which is really just made up out of um, shapes and lines and things um, so it's a set of instructions for creating an image in effect and then you can export to um, the different sizes that you need the different side, size images without any without losing any kind of um, loss of res you know without losing any resolution or anything like that so let's take the um, uh, low um, device density screen for start which is 36 by 36 pixels and one other thing to say is that your, um, if you look at the icon design guidelines actually um, on these pages, uh, among other things, your icon should not take up the entire square of 36 by 36 or whatever. They should have, they should use the alpha channel. They should use transparency. Um, so if you look at the image that I created earlier in GIMP, this checkerboard around the edge ind indicates that that area is going to be transparent and it's not taking up the uh, entire square, which, which looks nicer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. I'll go to In Inkscape here, and I'm gonna to go to File. Uh, I'm gonna export my bitmap to 36 by 36, and I'm gonna select the entire page here. I wanna um, export my entire drawing. There we go, and I'll click Browse. And I'm gonna to go to the res uh, drawable L D uh, P I uh, low density folder here and just replace this launcher icon click export there and uh, when you add graphics in general to Eclipse um, if you're in this case I'm replacing an existing um, image but if you're adding a new one you might have to right click your project and go to refresh before they will actually appear but now if I click on my um, Launcher PNG now. Actually, it's still the old, the old one. I'm not sure if I did something wrong. Let's just try again. So, uh, workspace note squirrel LDPI IC launcher PNG, and I'm going to replace it. And I think that should be okay. And let's go back to Eclipse. Let's just do refresh, just to be on the safe side. And drawable. Yeah, did I click the wrong one? Okay, drawable LDPI. And there's my icon. Okay, that's better. So uh, I'm going to repeat that for these other folders and come back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. And that just took me like a minute. So it's a bit fiddly, but it's not the huge um, kind of production you might imagine when you first start thinking of um, creating different graphics for each screen resolution. And uh, one last thing I want to say for this tutorial, um, now that I've got uh, my icons all in place here, is uh, you'll notice that the name of the icon is set here. Um, it's um, so I'm saying at drawable slash ic underscore launcher, and um, this this actually is referring to the um, r.java file. So if I go to that, you'll see that I've got this um, drawable here and an ic launcher um, uh, ID there. And that is that actually gets picked up from these automatically generated from the stuff you add to the, these um, image folders here. And we're going to see, we're going to work a bit more with that in the future. But just for this tutorial, um, if you want to change the name of your icon and call it something else, if you just go to um, Android Manifest and make sure you change this ID. And before you change the ID, um, put a image with the right name name in there and then you should be able to click browse and select your image here. Okay so that's it for this tutorial and we're going to move on shortly to deploying our application um, although it's a bit primitive at the moment so that we can see how it actually looks. So um, join me again next time and until then happy coding. <laughs>